Got some family over for my aunt's birthday, so I just drop a lurk in here. All right, man. Hope you're having a good time with your family. Are you gonna kill the dwarves with the button? That's the plan. Cause screw this nonsense. Freaking declaring war on me with half the known world. <sighs> Including my other the other Skaven faction, because for whatever freaking reason, dwarves and Skaven joining hands to fight against me. Now ready, now! What, what orders? Any clan rats? What what? Get that right out I'm now ready. All the burning tide. Yeah. Yeah. Yours. Now let's push these guys into this flank, I think. Kind of hate the concept. Assassin. I'll tell yours. Yeah. Rattling gun. In some way, like Assassin. I can I can see that. What, what orders? It's kind of weird, but at the same time, Play claw catapult. the fact that the fact that the computer can ally factions like that. I really don't feel bad. I really don't feel bad just blowing his entire freaking faction up. Seriously. Fucking seriously. Push on that, I guess. Throw that stuff there. Let's see. I was hoping to potentially blow them up before they managed to get half the world to declare war on me. Uh, you know. Can't have everything, I guess. Yeah, we're freaking burning down that tower pretty fast. Also, I can throw this on the wall to knock those gunners around. Now it's just let's dump this like right here. That should that should knock those. There we go. So they can't shoot me as much. They're getting tossed around. Okay, so the towers down. Let's get drilling on the wall over here. We move, move. Shift you guys this way. Like, I totes get it for minor factions, but major factions like the Dowie are supposed to be epic content, three turn total wars to deal with. The problem is, is that it's always, like, this giant war of stupidity with the Dowie. It's like the Dowie are not fun to fight. I don't really mind fighting many other factions, but the Dowie are just not enjoyable to fight. Which I guess is an underlying issue with the game and not necessarily the... Oh, I'm inside? Cool. Wrap. 
Especially because they just spam way too much garbage. Maybe they didn't spam so much shit. Maybe if the faction that has supposed to have like some of the smallest population in the entire uh, entire Warhammer universe didn't just spam stuff like crazy. It wouldn't be so bad. But I feel like there's just like thematic issues going on. Yeah, exactly. If they didn't freaking multiply like rabbits, it wouldn't be quite a big, quite as big of a deal. But like, we have quality over quantity. Also, we have quantity. Oh, neat. There's like more Dowie in the world than any other faction. You kill like four armies of Dowie, and it doesn't make a dent. It's not a deal with Dowie button, but it's a, it's a deal with anybody button. Yeah, though I feel like the Dowie are the only ones I really give a shit about getting rid of most of the time. Like, I feel like 90% of people that use the button are gonna kill the Dowie with it. So everybody else is manageable for the most part. I mean, the Dowie are manageable too, but they're just such a freaking irritant to do anything about. And I've been fighting Dowie since freaking Warhammer 1, and it's been the same damn thing since Warhammer 1. Alright, my artillery is pushing up to get shot. That's cool. Good job, Artie. I can appreciate I can appreciate your gusto. I mean, even if you could only use it one time the entire campaign, I'd be fine. Because I just blow the Dowie up and I'd be happy. <laughs> I will fight any other faction. Just so sick of grinding against that one that one faction. So much so consistently. Which is why I supported Dowie update before the Wolf Elf Beastman. The Dowie don't need an update. The Dowie okay, so the Dowie need to get their faction adjusted but not give them more stuff. They need a balancing patch. They don't need a they don't need a freaking like content patch or something like that. So they, they don't they don't specifically need an update. They need to have in the balancing patch, they need to get things adjusted. And it's really they only need adjustments for the when the AI uses them, to be honest. Like they're not they're not like crazy when the freaking human player plays them. They're good. And in some cases they're not terribly interesting. Depending on what you're doing with them, obviously. Smoke. Ah, okay. master snake. There we go. That faction's destroyed. It's just the freaking doom tides of, of Dowie that are constantly spewing out of the Badlands. How am I doing? I'm doing alright. Just raging against Dowie at the moment. So, like... The, like, the Beastmen and the Wood Elves and the Greenskins all need, like, a complete rework. The dwarves need to be adjusted on the computer strength side of things. So not every campaign turns into, let's fight the giant blue blob. Because like I said, I, I did that for thousands of hours in Warhammer 1. I don't need to do it for another 3,000 hours in Warhammer 2. A 
Russian contract approved. Scan Pascari. Push the button. How are you finding the new DLC? Oh, I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying Clan Ashen at the Lord moment. Of, the assassins. of course, I just got declared war on by the dwarves who dr who then what? instantaneously drug the other Skaven faction with them. Like that was a good place to start. There's a good place to start on nerfing the Dowie. Don't allow them to freaking have military freaking alliances with factions that they are diametrically opposed to. <laughs> Another 4k hours in Warhammer 3. Yeah, alright. Fix the Greens and fix the Dowie. It definitely helps, yeah. Ah, oh, we got a rank on this guy. Storm Vermin, attend me, me! Also this. Just everything's rank 9, because you know why. There are more zones to the east of Desolation Nagash? Yeah. Yeah, so this stuff got added with the with the patch. Um, this is basically the south of the Darklands. So this is where the Chaos Dwarves are. This is like on the southern end of that. So there's a little bit more stuff to the north here. And some more stuff to the south. Well, these guys are at war with me too. Oh wait, are these guys at war with me? Talk at me in your crude language if you they must. Are. I make no promises as to the outcome. God, fucking hell! I bring pain, death. Yeah, it's cool to have some extra, some new space. Uh, they, I'm glad they didn't just take this faction and like jam it into Lustria. <laughs> Because they definitely could have done that, for sure. Gotta take and put this guy in charge for a moment. In case shit goes down. The last chair blood bowl is legendary. Do you take me for a wazuk? I do take for your wazuk. It's got rat ogres there, that's kinda nice. You're in in my objects! Why is this only worth three grand? What the hell are you doing over here, dwarves? <laughs> me, me! Duck to promising candidates. Death of the lizard things. I haven't even seen any lizard things yet. To be completely honest. Well, these guys took Death Gorge. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose I could just beat up... Ah, man. I just need another army, I think, at this point. That's really what needs to happen. Eshin, Mortal Empire is next to Setra in the desert pre-patch. Yeah, they're like over here somewhere. Around this area, I think. Yeah, in Vortex, they start like over here. On this side. I need to get some more freaking food here, so I can do this shit. What is it? So the Dowie don't even own that much, but look at their freaking relative strength. Their freaking strength rank one, and they own one, what, 13 provinces? Must own a bunch of stuff up here too. So I need to get some food to replay to regenerate my schemes as well. Oh, my 
I suppose maybe I should upgrade the freaking fortifications. Nah, we'll wait. Let's pull this instead. The fuck is my strength rank anyways? 63. Nice. Nice, at least I managed to take out the one dwarf faction before, or basically as this happened. Uh, okay. I'll just keep clicking on this over and over again. Just checking to see if there's anything else going on. Green skins like me. Weird. More head skulls. Show me in gifts. Strangely enough, like Clan Moors likes me. I don't know why they I don't know why they joined the Dowie of all things. The clan actually just fight start off starting against rebels in the east. No, they start off fighting uh, greenskins. There's a bunch of goblin duders over here to fight. Just hanging out. I think we'll just run the turn and we'll see what happens, I guess. You know, if it was just the Dowie, if it was only the Dowie that declared war on me, I wouldn't be quite as pissed about this. But the fact that he drug in, like, half the freaking world, including somebody that he should not have a military alliance with, by no, by no reasoning should he have a, mil have a military alliance with Clan Moors. I cannot imagine a universe where that would occur. Like, in thousands of multidimensional travels, you would not be able to find the dwarves allying with the fucking Skaven. Oh look. You want more no. dwarf armies. Yay. I need to get twenty food somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Where does where does one get some food around here? Fight and executioner. No pastures anywhere? Nah. We got eight pieces of pasture, I guess, but that's like the closest one. You kind of have a tretch thing going on here, where there's just no freaking food anywhere. Queek's capital has a food buff? Ah, I see. Unfortunately, that's Queek's capital. <laughs> Can't really do much with that. Queek, we talk instead of fight. Alright, alright. Go back there and deal with that nonsense. Kill some Dowie armies. I just need to find some. So I've got Dowie armies up here, but those guys are really far away from me, unfortunately. I mean, I was hoping to just confederate this guy and get all this shit. I supposed to have to, like, fight him for it. We're just gonna let him go for right now. Wait till our Death Master is back. Then we'll take these guys out. I did not retreat, I just didn't attack. Campaign your Confederate next turn. I imagine in I imagine in your campaign he did not 
get a military alliance with the dwarves, right? <laughs> I'm guessing that didn't happen. Because I could have got... I was well on my way to get a confederation with him as well until that happened. Well, I had I had relationships with him, but he just broke them off the second the dwarves attacked. He was like, "Up, oh, fuck you." <laughs> he loved me too. Didn't matter. <laughs> Some gyros over here. Over here. Counters come on. We're ready, ready. Got a lot of freaking gutter runners here. Uh, we we'll probably actually want to not fight these guys directly. Well, we want to fight some of them directly on the wall because we want to give the zip zaps. <laughs> now, ready now. Gutter runners. It's just that he went, he decided to go palling around killing the greenskins with the dwarves in my campaign, so he just became, like, super friends with them, because, you know, factions that fight together, like, gain massive freaking bonuses. If you have an enemy that is the same enemy as somebody else's, like, the bonuses are just insanity. All right. So him and the dwarves probably had like some super super like secret pact thing going on. Best friends forever, Queekin, Trickin, the dwarf who earned his name by killing Skaven. <laughs> Should all be at war with Skaven from the start, like Skink Boy. <laughs> yeah, Sk the freaking Lizardmen shouldn't be able to get military alliances with the Skaven either. That doesn't make any sense. The problem is, is the computer can just make military alliances with whoever they please. They have no limitations. I don't know why they don't have limitations. It, it's very confusing to me. That the human player gets limitations and the computer player does not. So you feel it, it feels like you should just be able to impose the same limitations on the on the AI that you impose on the on the human, right? Like a, this doesn't seem like a crazy this doesn't seem crazy. Just general. It's like it seems like a thing that should that should just happen. <laughs> High Ark of Fire, friend. Say it. Shoot those dudes down, please. Submit to Mimi. I would appreciate it. 
crew to destroy their faces. What, what the orders? What, what orders? Just chuck that shit. Alright. There's a lot of Dowie right the fuck here. So we can't do anything about that. up real quick. There we go. Nine seconds. Some more guys. Or zap these guys again. Zap those guys. General copters are in the middle of like shit. You guys back this way. How long until I got an explosion? A little bit. Don't run that way. Go this way. Don't run through the enemy. Turn around. There you go. Good job, guys. Moving. Yes. Well done. Let's check that real quick. You guys go there. Let's see, what is it? Two seconds on an explosion? Oh, god damn it! They disengaged at the last second. Fuck. Sucks. Clan advance. Bong bong. Scampering. I mean, these guys, if they get blown up, would be pretty good, honestly. This just burned out. I'm gonna blow these guys up. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. Could have been better, could have been worse. Ready, ready. Sure. Those dudes. These guys back on this flank. Yes, yes. Throw rocks at that. We move through. Oh gosh, if I only had a warp explosion right now. Or warp lightning or anything. Jeez, that'd be such a good be such a good explosion. Ah uh, fuck. That sucks. That sucks. Yes, I've got some guys yes. over here yet. Just try to get in there. Oh, he's got iron breakers? Oh no, I didn't think it was just miners with blasted charges. Okay. Got really concerned there for a second. Iron breakers. Let's go that way. Let's try to keep him from capturing the control point for the moment. As long as we can, anyway. Some of these radovers actually. I blew these radovers up, but they actually survived. Interesting. They are not the picture of health, though. Not that much. Cranky streak. Spell casting. Hello. Fight, fight. Ready, ready. Horned rats will. Horned rats will. Tyson, hurry. Throw us down. I don't think I'm getting any more good warp bombs here at this point. Everything from here on out is basically going to be garbage. I think I'm going to just. Councils command. It's going to lose control of everything here, actually. Period. What happens you get attacked by an entire force of gold tier Dowie in your minor settlement? Should have held on to the warp bomb though for that giant mosh. 
We would have known that was going to happen. That would have destroyed, like, another huge mass of enemy units. I mean, I don't, I don't think that this, I don't necessarily think that the, the, the dwarves need to, like, start at war with all the Skaven. I just think they need to not be able, allowed to do diplomatic relations with them. Because it makes absolutely no sense that they can. I feel like that would be a grudge if they did. Oh yeah, them, dwar them dwarven armies are endless. Prepare for a hundred turns of fighting the same units over and over and over and over again into infinity. Or I could Thanos snap them and not have to deal with it. Which I think is probably what I'm going to do. Quite possibly. Because I'm tired of looking at them. Yeah, it reminds me of my Marathi, my uh, freaking Marathi campaign where I just, <laughs> where I would kill like five Dowie armies and their freaking balance of power bar wouldn't move. <laughs> I neat. Rattling gun. Warp grinder. Warp grinder. Clan rat spears. It's like Bretonia, I would beat the, I would beat the shit out of a bunch of their armies, and at least the balance of power bar would go down. You'd be like, oh look, I've done something. When I the Dowie, you'd kill shit tons of them and it would not even see any effect whatsoever. Use nukes. I don't have nukes, unfortunately. Poisoned wind mortar. Only uh. Our tail's yours. Only uh, Clan Scryer gets now. the nukes. They should be able to climb over the dead and get in, right? <laughs> no kidding. Shit was ridiculous. All right, hang on. Where are these guys at? Uh, there. That from happening, shall we? Oh, he needs to summon, that's what the deal is. 
Get away from borders, you asshole. Leave them alone. Raining on that. Death runners, we need to move you up close enough that they can actually you guys join in the fight there. Let's push those dudes up. So they look like they need it. Yeah, pull you guys back. That's just looking pretty uh pretty troublesome. Ow. That was us. Random group in just the aisles over there? Okay. There we go. Alright, he's about friendly fire casualties in that, to be honest. Steal the nukes. So freaking cool looking. Should probably leave to get to work, but I could work from home. But I don't want to work at all. It's understandable. My blade slice awaits. Okay. Well, that's those guys. That's the game of some food. It'll give us many, many rat things to eat, I feel. It's categorized as triple sword infantry. Yeah, that's pretty That's pretty dope. I agree, I agree with this. As you do say. levels. Nice. Could drop a slippery in there, yeah. It's a pretty good single point. Make him a lot harder to kill against those big dangerous fellows when the computer just decides that his, his guy is going to be better than mine. What's your back Alright. Dash rations. Firm. For the ashen. <laughs> yes. Go. everybody's been waiting for it's time to take the number one faction in the entire on the entire planet and just say goodbye in the mortal words of Paven hashtag death to Sunties. shadows hide I 
feed us, horned one. That's what, bud, you're back in charge for now. Congratulations. There we go. Take it off, Hyper. All right. Out. Best of luck at work. There. It is done. I washed my hands of this. Went from endless hordes of stunning assholes to armies of hilariously shitty greenskin rebels. Yep. Yep. That was plunge into anarchy. Once every 100 turns. Beep. Exterminatus. Lord Warlock is pleased. Clan Eshen assassinate. Take those assholes out. Alright, now I just gotta deal with my hacks, <laughs> basically, yes. No fool that's safe in our world. Three grand, two grand. Alright. Except there's one gun bat over here. Yes, yes. Confederation next turn. Small. You listen to quick, yes, yes. <laughs> Karakazo should be able to defend itself against anything coming that way. Sell that stuff up. Sell the bell up. Hush, Beligar, take over everything. Yeah, but at least it'd be Beligar and not the giant dwarf faction that can conglomerate. Like, I don't know if the other dwarf factions can even confederate. I don't think I've ever seen them confederate except for in the giant blue blob. So I'm not even sure if they ever had the capability of confederating each other. Which I'm fine with doing with the stunty factions separated, but when they all just turn into this giant conglomeration of bullshit... <sighs> just, just ain't got the time of day. Warp, lightning. Alright, well I guess we'll capture this shit. The other dwarves can confed. I don't think I've ever seen them confederate. Anybody but the main dwarf faction. Ever. <laughs> so maybe they can, but I don't... In thousands of hours of gameplay, I've never seen it. Probably because the dwarves, the main fraction of dwarves, nobody will get wiped out, ever. So they just confederate the shit out of the smaller dwarf factions to stay alive. Which is actually what happened one of my Warhammer 1 campaigns. Where I was fighting the dwarves. And I had to fight them from the Badlands all the way to here. Because they just confederated dwarf factions down the line. I would like murder them all to like one settlement. They'd be like, oh no, we confederated these guys. So then they'd have more settlements and i have to go fight them. And they'd be like, oh no, we confederated we confederate these guys. i have to go kill them there. And they're like, oh, never mind, we confederated these guys. <laughs> So like the dwarf factions just would not die. They just kept, kept they just kept plugging more and more dwarf factions into their veins to stay alive. Freaking Golden Throne style. Belgar usually takes over the blue ones die. I don't I don't think I've ever seen the blue ones totally die. They'll get low sometimes, but I don't think I've ever seen them be destroyed by the other by the computer player. And I've and usually by the time I get around to actually being able to take on the the Dowie horde, they've already like confederated everybody, <laughs> or they start, or again, like I said, they start doing that thing where they just start confederating people as you're beating them so they can stay alive. They just use other factions as life support systems.
Okay, anyway. That's all right. Needs new beta rulers. They die when you're playing another dwarf faction. Even when I play other dwarf factions, I usually can end up confederating them. Because they don't die. A lot of the other good factions usually die, but the main dwarf faction normally doesn't. They, they sometimes get beat to shit. Like, they'll get pushed back into the northern mountains or something. But they don't use... They, like, they never actually like, fully die. So... The time for talk is over. No. No! Bring me an ass of names that I parlay with you. Want a trade agreement? No. No. Oh. Oh. What the crap, lady? The crap. Nobody wants to trade with me. You want my don't want my warp dust? Apparently. <laughs> Gosh darn it all. Sneaky infiltrator. Alright, uh... Do we have any other shadowy dealings we can do? No, we we used up all of our ske our schemes, and our clan contracts are with, uh... The guy that's currently at war with me, so fuck him. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. That being said, potentially... Becoming more friends with him might be a good idea, just to, like... Get him off my nuts, but I, I think I'll just murder him enough that he decides he doesn't want to play ball anymore. Look at Angrid, they get to go on an orc smash fest now. Only true vengeance will make me happy. Is that what you offer? Yeah, we'll see what they do. It'll buy me time in any case. It'll buy me time. That's all I need. You what? I'm a rune lord, not some smith. Could I peace queek now? I don't think so. I, am I, think, I think I already looked at that. I nah, he doesn't want it. I, no, not he doesn't want it. He's a dick. So I'll just keep murdering him until eventually he decides he wants to. I mean, the guy does talk to skulls, so I, I don't know what I expected. I don't know if I expected a reasoning response from Queek, so. I got it with Zufbar now, too, because they're allied with. There's a long list of freaking people that went to war with me because of that. A hella big list. But, in any case, I think that's probably going to be it for the night. We got to see the, we got to see the Exterminatus occur. Queek won't peace unless you're stronger significantly. Well, I can make that happen. Because I can definitely murder his armies hardcore. Got street code after 720, latency to broadcaster 30 seconds. Well, at least you can see. He's totally rational and stable. You know, like all Skaven. Good old rational, stable Skaven. But yeah. Yeah, we got to lay, got to lay down the Exterminatus on the enemy, so that, that makes me happy, at least. I don't know. It's cool to see the mechanic in action, I suppose. It's one of those things where it's like this... No matter, no matter what game you play, this is going to be, like, really tempting to do. Whenever you play as, uh... Or you play as that Clan Eshin. Master Engineer! <laughs> Sound and stable. So, like... It's one of those things as well, where it's like, I know I could beat them. It's just going to take so long. I... Yeah. And I'm sick of looking at him. I already fought up dwarves for freaking 60 turns. Fuck them. Alright, guys. That is all we're gonna do for the night. We'll be back with more of this nonsense later.